Somebody's in talks to direct a new Star Wars movie. No. <laughs> what? Water wet. Uh, yeah, according to news that has broke this morning, and I'm not going to lie, this is an interesting name. Sean Levy, uh, one of the guys behind Stranger Things, uh, he's got a long list of great movies. Recently, he's been on a really good role. I love Free Guy, and now he's doing Deadpool 3. Well, according to Deadline, Sean Levy is in talks to direct his own Star Wars film. This comes from Deadline, who write, Deadline can reveal that Sean Levy is in talks to come aboard to develop to direct a Star Wars film. Uh, we are trying to pry loose details of the plot and writer, but we can tell you Levy will focus on this one after he completes the job of directing Deadpool 3 at Marvel and Disney, uh, the one that brings Ryan Reynolds together with Hugh Jackman. This comes at a prolific moment for Levy. Uh, he is in post-production on the limited series All the Light We Cannot See, for which Levy directed all four episodes. That series is for Netflix, where he will also direct the last two episodes of the the fifth and final season of the streamer streamer signature series stranger things which uh levy executive produced through his 21 laps banner so he's on a bit of a roll right now i like him as a filmmaker it feels strange saying it but i mean this wholeheartedly no hyperbole i think real steel is my favorite film of his great movie i love that movie, movie. it gets better with age as it goes on him coming in to do deadpool 3 i thought free guy had an incredible cadence to it a great pace to it it was energetic it was fun it was charming i loved all of that kind of stuff so this sounds great but <laughs> i believe sean levy is now ray you'll have to look up the exact number but i leave i believe the 73rd director named who has an upcoming star wars movie everybody's got an upcoming star wars movie everybody does Later this afternoon, I'm fairly certain they're going to announce that I have an upcoming Star Wars movie. I don't know what it's about, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. I, I'm i just, I'm tired of it. It's it, That's the thing. This is news I should be getting excited about. I think this is a really talented director. I, I think he has even, a, I think he's even a good fit for this universe. When I look at the different elements of different types of movies he's done, I think he could bring those all into Star Wars. So I should be really excited. But it's kind of the same thing now when the character dies in an MCU movie. I don't really feel it because I know they're coming back in countdown five, four, three, two, one. So it takes a little bit away because they just, it feels like every other month there's a new person that we should be excited about directing a movie, but we don't see anything happening. We still haven't seen lick all of the Taika Waititi movie. Not going to. There's been about three or four others as well. Where I mean, they keep announcing some developments on the Kevin Feige one, like they got their writer, like as of, but we haven't seen anything tangible on that years after they made that announcement. And so while I want to be excited for this, it's difficult to under the current regime where a lot of spaghetti gets thrown against the wall and none of it seems to stick. Anyway, Christian, you hear about this. Number one, what do you think about the name of, of Sean Levy being attached to this? And then, is this actually going to happen? As far as the name goes, I agree with you. Great fit for the for the galaxy far, far away. Great fit because of everything he's worked on so far. He gets it, he under, and I think that it'll even play more so. And he, you, you see what he's done with something like Real Steel, which I also love. You see he can go a little darker and still be fun inside of Stranger Things, and he can go real fun inside of Free Guy. He, he's a great choice overall, absolutely. But to quote what you just said and to quote Chris Rock, I'm tired of this shit. Tired, <laughs> tired, tired. It's the same thing. It's the same thing over and over, and it's what it shows to me. Because, And to be fair, something you said a couple of weeks ago when I was on. Let's also be clear. This is not something Lucasfilm announced. This Good is point. Some, this is something Good that point. the trades broke. Broke. So they're not going out and saying, "Hey, we're announcing this director." And they're not doing that mistake of this is the movie. This is just a, uh, someone going in for a meeting and saying, "Hey, I had this take," and them going, "Great." W then this might happen. Same way Lindelof did. Same way Taika did. And that's the problem. The problem is. Kathleen Kennedy still is doing the same old 1989, 2004 way of producing of uh, inside of these all these IPs that now with Marvel and everything, it's like instead of saying, all right, we have this plan. These are the movies that we want to do. And Sean, you'd be a great guy to come in here to, to do this. What, what's the take that you want to continue? It's what's your take? Oh, you want to do this with this, this kind of Star Wars movie? Great. Oh, you want to do this one? You're real hot right now. You want to do that one? And nothing ever happens because it's just kind of like a mess. So... I just wish they would actually actually have like a treatment, a plan, ideas, structure things out and have a through line of where they want to go and then bring in directors to do that. And, you know, we were talking behind the scenes, like maybe that's what's happening here. 
Maybe. No chance. Could be. Fingers crossed. Maybe. I don't know. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this episode, Amazon Pharmacy. Now, if you're anything like me, you dread going to the pharmacy. You never know what the hours are. You never know what you're going to pay. You're worried about being stuck in a huge line. And that's why you're going to love Amazon Pharmacy. Amazon Pharmacy delivers a better pharmacy experience that delivers directly to your door and works with most insurance plans. Amazon Pharmacy helps you save time, save money, and stay healthy healthy. There's transparent pricing so you'll know exactly what you'll pay before you pay it. Prime members can also save up to 80% on their prescriptions. And like I mentioned earlier, Amazon Pharmacy works with most insurance plans. And this is one of the best parts. If you ever have any questions or problems, real pharmacists are always available at Amazon Pharmacy no matter what time of day or night. Your medication gets delivered to your door so there's no more rushing out to the store hoping to get there before they close. Amazon Pharmacy is a pharmacy that works for your life with meds delivered to your door. It doesn't get any better than that. Switch to Amazon Pharmacy and save time, save money, and stay healthy. Learn more at amazon.com slash campia. That's amazon.com slash campia. Average savings based on usage and inside RX data as compared to cash prices. Average savings for all generics are 78%, 37% for select brand medications. Restrictions apply. Rob, you hear about this? Again, what do you think about the name? Attach the story, and do you think this one might actually come to pass? Well, first of all, the, the name's great. Like you said, Sean Levy's great. Um, you know, there was an old show when I was a kid called The Great Space Coaster, and there was a character on it named... I think I Well, they would that. talk about the news, and they called it Gnus. No, Gnus is, is good, good Gnus. Gnus. I remember that. Yeah, a this kid. is Gnus. This is not real news. It's Gnus. And I think that, that we, here, here you have Disney. They've made five live-action Star Wars movies. Four of them grossed a billion dollars plus. One grossed two billion. And they treat their cinematic franchise, I mean, that's a pretty good track record. Why have they not made a movie since 2019? Why are they not making a Star Wars movie every year? And I know they want to focus on TV or not, but what are you going to, you're going to leave a billion dollar franchise fallow? Who, who does that? What, what, the, what, what studio would do that? And all, we've gotten how many, how many announcements? How many? Why isn't Benny Or at least reports, yeah. Reports. Or reports. I mean, Taika Waititi, Kevin Feige's doing a Star Wars movie. I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. And also, it's not protecting their brand. In a way, within, inside the industry, Star Wars is kind of a joke. It's as we're Movie-wise. We're Movie-wise. We're making fun of it right now. And, I, and I, I think that there's a good... If I was a Disney shareholder, I'd ask myself, okay... Um, you know, you're very hit and miss with your Star Wars franchise on TV, Book of Boba Fett or Andor, Obi-Wan Kenobi or Mandalorian. You know, what are you going to do? Why aren't they treating their cinematic franchise as a crown jewel of one of, one of the great things that Disney has? And I, I don't understand it. See, I, I've always been able to understand that. And I can respect leadership that goes, OK, we just took one on the chin. Let's take a step back, catch our breath for a minute. Like, I, I understand that, you know, especially after what happened with Solo. And then, of course, the, the, the confusing, unexplainable thing that whatever it was with the rise of Skywalker. So I don't mind them going, OK, wait a minute. So we had an approach. We took it on the chin. We've had some good success with it, but we also had some big failures. Let's take a step back and catch our breath. I get that. I, I get that. And I respect that. But three years later. We'll, we're still sitting here with nothing tangibly in development. And he just keeps doing the same thing, John. Like if yeah. when, when it comes to Taika Waititi, he had a hit movie, right? He had a couple of hit movies, a big, big, huge director. And then not everyone loves Thor, Love and Thunder. So, well, wait a minute, let's back up because that movie's not coming out next. Uh, and they, they, they do that with whatever, Josh Trank, we were just talking about. Yeah. He had a hit movie then, and then that goes away. It's like there's, and, and it's the same thing with the children. Yes, they made a billion dollars, but there was, everybody can agree now, there was no plan no at plan, all. No. It was zero plan. Okay, you're going to direct that one, do whatever you want. You're going to do that one, do whatever you want. And then, yo, you're coming back, fine throw that other guy out of there and it's like that that doesn't work there's no plan because it's like it's old school filmmaking producing that is not working for star wars it can work for other movies but it's it clearly worked for top gun and other things too it's not working for star wars the plan is to change and it's not let me ask you this question let me play as opposed to devil's advocate let me place angel's advocate for a second is it possible i'm not and i'm not saying i believe yeah. this is it possible that this delay and all this stuff 
Could, is it possible that this is a sign and indicative that they are actually behind the scenes trying to put together a solid longer term plan before doing anything tangibly? I think yes. I I, I don't think it, I I think you should potentially believe that. I think now whether or not they're going to do that and do it right <laughs> is another, is a different question. But the idea of like, hey, let's let that's why. Make no mistakes. The reason to answer your question why they haven't released it because they're terrified. They are terrified by putting up because the Rise of Skywalker, as you said, even though it made a lot of money, it is universally just destroyed. And we know what Last Jedi did to the fandom, right? So those those movies in general, if you put another movie out and you lead with a movie that does not go well, that big diamond is going to be a turd, and they're gonna and they're gonna see it. They they need it to come out. They need to come out swinging, and they're just worried, and it keeps prolonging because they. Wouldn't you rather prolong it and put out something great? Now the question is, if you if you wait for too long, you put out you know another shit box, then it, it, then what's the uh, you know the, what was the wait for? I'll tell you what. Right now, a lot of people should be taking a very hard look at. Uh, uh, I was I was oh I just had uh, Gilroy. Yeah, oh, yeah. People should be taking a very hard look at Tony Gilroy right now with what he's doing with Andor, and I I, I cannot wait for again tonight's episode. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I mean, re this should be, if you're a Star Wars fan, a, a day of kind of celebrating, saying, hey, it's, I mean, it's not the number one name in the world, but I think Sean Levy could do actually a pretty good job. By the way, I should I forgot to mention this. I misread the headline. When I saw this headline this morning, I initially misread it, and I thought it said Dan Levy. <clears throat> oh, hilarious. And I, and I remember sitting there thinking for a good five minutes about, I don't know how I feel about this because <laughs> I love Dan Levy. What an he is show that would be hilarious. But I don't know if he's a fit for Star Wars. <laughs> I don't I don't know. But then I realized, oh no, wait a minute, it's Sean Levy, so we're good. Anyway, so guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Are you excited for it? Or are you more like me, where it's like kind of hard to get excited when I just don't believe it's actually gonna happen? I don't know. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.